Look, I can move my arm up all the way. What is up everybody, Nick Lego Stava here, and in this video I'm going to be reviewing Transformers Legacy, Point Blank, and Peacemaker. Now this is actually an amazing deluxe class transformer here, and I'm also going to show you later in the video how to fix the arm not bending all the way up, how a bunch of people complain about about this figure and they're like oh it's not really worth it because his arm can't bend up a certain way but yeah this is nice so let's get into the video and i also have a lot of size comparisons and showing him with those other autobot uh target master figures as well so let's get into it right off the bat this is a nice size deluxe you usually get smaller deluxes these days this feels nice and beefy i'll also weigh it later in the video as well but you also do get his little target master partner which is amazing that they included this yes it's very simplistic it doesn't really have articulation you don't even have like legs back and forward or arms back and forward they just flip up for transformation but you know what i'm glad this is included okay because the other ones didn't get their target master partner included it was a little separate thing sold for like what six dollars for those things that i saw a lot on sale at like the dollar tree or whatever eventually i did i should have picked up a lot more but yeah he is he does have some paint apps he has his face painted the silver and the blue goggles on it he also has the blue painted in there the black painted in the shoulder area i'm just i'm pleased with this little guy like yeah he's not very articulate i'm probably gonna 3d print a way more accurate and articulated version but Hey, I mean, he is pretty accurate, like the molding in him and stuff. But yeah, there he is transformed up right there. And then a lot of people, what they complain about is you put it in his arm and you can't really bend the arm up that much. And oh, he's a target master. His arm should bend up more, which I do agree with. But watch this very simple fix for that. So these arms can turn around completely like that. Then you could put that in there completely like that. And he can pretty much bend his arm up like that. Look at that. That looks fine on a shelf like that. Yes, I do really wish he had wrist rotation. Speaking of that, let's get into articulation. I think that's really the only thing he's missing, you know, besides that and ab crunch, which, I mean, deluxes, come on. They, they usually don't have ab crunch, so let's just be honest there. Let's move that out of his hand. But yeah, wrist rotation seems to be all he's really missing in terms of modern articulation. You have an upper thigh swivel knee bend that's past 90 because of transformation and back of his legs are hollowed out as you can see there three print upgrade coming for him eventually and then he does have waist rotation as well also this opens we'll see how much in vehicle mode and if you could put a tight uh, tight master in there as well it kind of looks like one might be able to fit in there the head is painted mine does have a paint at mishap right there there is some silver painted off to the side here that I'm going to have to remove with some rubbing alcohol. That is unfortunate, but, you know, this was the only one in the store. I do plan to double up on this guy eventually to have one in alt mode and one painted up like the U.S. version that appeared in the U.S. Uh, G1 and then the Headmaster's version that was a little bit different. So, yes, I will be doing 3D print kit for that as well in the future. So the back of the legs don't have the blue painting on them that only is on the front here but you do have the blue and the silver there so there's double on that and then you got the side of the arm thing painted blue on there too i mean that's pretty unexpected for them to do that you know just to keep the front accuracy i will compare it to the animation model as well so let me do that real quick and then we'll get into size comparison with the rest of the video so there he is compared to the animation model i think he's pretty accurate you know the windshield here you know how they always like to throw in clear plastic on figures. But yeah, that could have been just a gray or white piece of plastic with the blue on there. But yes, there's that animation model compared. And then let's also compare the... I had another one pulled up. Yeah, this was just from the comics here. That one also showed the vehicle mode. But yeah, all in all, he looks really good. And it's great that we're getting another toy of him finally. And yes, I will be showing him with his Target Masters. In a moment. Oh wait, that's a different thing. That's a different thing for another time. So let's move this back over here. And then he does have ankle tilt as well that he can do all the way out. This side's really freaking tight on this one. But yes, that can go all the way out. Blah, blah, blah on that. So size comparisons and then transformation on this guy. I honestly really like this figure. I know the arm thing, that situation made a lot of people be like, oh, I'm not, I don't really like it that much, but... 
I mean, I like it. He's a nice big deluxe. I mean, here he is with the Decepticon Target Master Trigger Happy from, I believe, Titan's Return. That's sadly the only Decepticon one I have. The other two are too damn expensive to get. So hopefully they do some type of reissue of them. That'd be great. If they did, like, how they did with the Headmaster series, if they did like that through Walmart or just all stores and any stores. And then I also have crosshairs as well this was siege i believe a generation selects oddly enough for crosshairs here so he was based on the siege iron hide mold and then guess what i'm gonna complete the trio probably before hasbro it could be years before they decide to do that i haven't seen that in any of the leaks for them doing a sure shot but well, let's show my stand-in for sure shot it's kind of early on in his customization period but i think he looks really good so that's also the older deluxe sunstreaker how that would look saying that this is a nice big deluxe you know we it's pretty rare that they actually go ahead and do that so that's nice they look good together i think once i 3d print the upgrades and conversion kit for him he's going to look really good as sure shot so yes let's move that out of the way and uh i guess i wanted to also throw in a voyager this is the G2 version of Earthrise Megatron Voyager there. So yeah, like I said, he's a nice sizable deluxe, which I really appreciate. So let's uh, weigh him real quick and then we will get into transformation. Oh wait, and there was one other character. This was one that people would buy and then customize and make into point blank. I think I saw a couple people that made custom one out of this, which I mean, honestly, they could probably use this mold for a new punch counter punch if they just remolded some things. I could also see Armada Blur. I'm actually going to grab that comparison and then compare that as well. That'll be later on. I'll probably transform it back into robot mode, so stay tuned for that. Tell me what you're thinking of them in the comments because also this 3D print kit is what I'm working on too. I'm going to plan to have that as a separate rubber piece, so yeah, I really want the Target Masters to turn out good. I mean, the initial release of this was eh, but with 3D print upgrades is going to be great. Let's move that off to the side here. I'm just, I'm very... I'm very glad that they threw in this little guy. It's just, it's very rare that you get two of these at a deluxe price point. Yes, it's simplistic, I know. But let's get into transformation on this guy. Got them all transformed up. And I have to say that this transformation, definitely from like the waist up, kind of feels like a Voyager transformation. Like it's nicely complex, not too like annoying, but it's definitely nice. And something that I really wasn't expected was these things are on ball joints and they flip over and click in there to fill in that spot. Like they just did some nice stuff on this figure. I don't know why it's getting so much hate. I think it's great. And then you have pinned wheels all around, not those crappy, awful mushroom peg ones that they try to do. Rolls spectacular. Just how I like it. Yeah, nice. Let's get them on the scale. Where the hell is the scale? Right here, finally. And then I'm going to compare them to other cars as well. So let's get them up on the scale. Come on, zero out. Don't be doing Russian letters at me. Okay, 3.126 ounces. So nice. So nice deluxe. And then actually I'm going to toss on uh, him on there. 2.2. Okay, so I guess he's a Voyager. All right. Let's move that out of the way. Here he is next to Hot Rod. So look at that, a hey, Voyager, deluxe size Voyager here. And a nice big deluxe here. So looks nice with him. And then also his tracks paired. And then this would be crosshairs in his natural form here, but it's just Siege Ironhide right there with him. So yeah, that's what that's looking like. Looks pretty good. I am gonna do transformation back into robot mode real quick because I like the transformation, it's pretty cool. And I wanted to show other things with in this video as well. So stay tuned here, let's pop these ball joint things here. They might pop off on me. I'm just gonna take them off for simplicity's sake for right now, because all that tabs in pretty tight. Also this doesn't, since this comes up flush to this, this doesn't really pop open in robot mode. So just be careful about that because that is all clear plastic. It's kind of strange. It does like open up, but <laughs> you can't open it in vehicle mode. So that's definitely strange because that has a metal pin across there too as well. So 
We'll see what they do with that in the future because I do think that they're going to remold this into some other characters, which honestly I hope they do. Because, oh wait, there was like one more negative in this mode, I guess. There's this gap here. I mean, people have already, there's already like three or four different 3D print spoiler options, and then this target master plugs in to kind of cover that up. So, you know, since this deluxe has done so much, I think that I'll excuse it because he seems pretty good. The QC on this one seems pretty good. So. I really just like when I get decent things that it feels like I'm getting good stuff for my money I'm not gonna complain as much you know like I think that they've done a pretty good job also how this this panel in here houses the head like that's something you don't really expect on a deluxe have to have a whole metally pinned in panel here for the inside like you don't even see that part in freaking robot mode really it just covers that whole back area you know that perceptor even had that big back gap on it which, I mean, I already have a 3D print thing for him. Let's flip that around here. And then, like I said, I am going to show him with some people that I think they could easily get more uses out of this mold. This is a little bit tricky to get that all hinged out of there. Because it does lock in pretty tight there. There might be a better way to go about it, but you kind of... Because this has this slide up here, and then you also have to hinge the arm down. So that is a little bit... Just be careful there. And also the plastic quality here, it seems to be a little bit better than my Armada Star Screen. And I presume many of them. And this looks like it's on a slider a little bit, is it? No, that's just kind of how that is. All right. So yes, there he is transformed up again, back into robot mode. So nice and nice. So let's show him with some other comparisons. I think that they could easily, oh wait, I gotta pop those pieces back on here in a second. I think that they could get an Armada blur out of this and also a Cybertron one with just other, a different head and different colors. So I definitely think they could do that because how the shoulders are on this, you just look at this flipped around, you know, just some different molding. I think they could get to that pretty easily. And then I also think, I know they already did it in Earthrise, re-releasing the Power of the Primes one here. But I do think that they could do a new punch counter punch by like remolding this. Of course, I'd love it to look like a Fiero, you know, that'd be great. Uh, because this Power of the Primals one is not that great. Honestly, the more I think about it, it's not that great. And the better color version than the Amazon exclusive uh, Criminus Domino's Pursuit or whatever, it's better colors, but honestly, it just costs too damn much. And this one, the blue, the light blue and the yellow really just don't do it for me. I even like painted that someone orange on the back, but I don't know. I just, I think that this could easily be outdone by using that. But enough babbling. I think this videos went on long enough. I hope that you enjoyed it and stayed to the end because I do like this figure. It might even be in my top deluxes of the year, honestly, because this is pretty dang good. You know, I mean, just these ball joint things, it is hard to kind of get him to flip around and stay on the ball joint, getting him into vehicle mode and stuff. But honestly, for a deluxe, he's nice and sizable. He feels, you know, good for the money. Honestly, I really just cannot complain. I think he does a lot. And when he does, he does it all right. You know, the arm thing is a little bit of a situation, but you know, crosshairs let me bring him back up here as well and also throw freaking crankcase up here too i have a rant to do when i do my yearly roundup with him in it so i probably won't do a separate review for him where the hell did i put crosshairs at jeez his arm only goes up to 90 so i don't know why people really cried oh here he is There's not too many things going on at one damn time but his arm only goes up to 90 people really weren't complaining too much about him you know so it is what it is so 3D print upgrades coming to make them even better, as well as the other Target Masters. You know, we'll probably see Sure Shot probably the next couple years, and I hope that he's at least as good as this Point Blank here. But they call him Point Blanker for marketing, or not marketing reasons, for legal reasons. No, it says Autobot Point Blank. All right, yeah. So they just put Autobot in front of him. So have a great one. If you're new, watch other videos. Decide if you want to subscribe. If you're already subscribed, thank you very much. Please be sure to drop a like. It really helps out. It's a way to help the channel out for free. And have a great one. Peace. Bye-bye. So they said that the Sure Shot mold might be a Mirage retool. So let's actually just show them next to Mirage real quick. So that's what that would look like. I mean, I don't know. It seemed to me like Sure Shot was supposed to be taller, kind of on par with him. So 
I don't know if that's the right mold to use for when they do a sure shot. So that's why I'm going ahead and just making my own sure shot, completing the trio right now. And then if Hasbro does it good, then Hasbro does it good. But if they do this, I, that just doesn't look right to me. So I definitely had to include that in this video, but I didn't see any product listings for it. I just heard like at least a year or so ago that they were going to make a sure shot out of the Mirage. So we'll see what happens there.